So, you want to learn about 3D printing. This is a 3D printer. Ta -da! So let me start by talking about how the machine works. This is 3mm polylactic acid, also known as PLA. This is a thermal plastic that is used in the machine. It comes in all sorts of colours and including glow in the dark. The filament is fed into the back of the printer through the extruder. This extruder cog has a bolt attached to it and on the bolt has teeth that bite into the filament and force it over the top of the printer through the Bowden tube. The aluminium block on the printer head is set to 208 degrees. When it gets up to temperature, I manually move the cog and you can see the filament coming out of the nozzle at the hot end. There are two step motors, one here and one here, that moves the printer head along the X and Y. There's also one step motor underneath the printer, which moves the bed down along the Z axis. So, how do you get your idea to be printed? Well, there are three stages, and in the first stage is getting the model. There are three main ways of doing this. You can make the model yourself. There are a lot of 3D programs out there for all different types of skill set. As long as you can export out a stereolithography, also known as the STL file, that is all that is needed for this type of printing. If 3D modeling isn't your strong point, you could use a 3D scanner to scan an object that you'd like to reproduce in a 3D printer. If scanning isn't for you, the last of the three is to go online and download the print ready file. There are lots of sites out there, for instance, you imagine and Thingiverse. Here you can do a search for just about anything, from robots to birdhouses, from doorstops to vases, which is what I'm doing here from the designer Juris. Once the file is downloaded, it is on to the next stage, which is slicing. This is Cura, which was created by Dade. It allows the user to take the 3D model and apply certain printer settings to it, like layer resolution. Here you can see two objects. One is 100 microns, the other is 300 microns. You can clearly see the difference in the quality. Also, the lower the quality, the quicker the print. You can also change the wall thickness and internal structure. Once the settings are done, it slices the model into individual layers, which are then converted into G-code for the printer to understand. And the final stage is to print it. Three D printing has been applied to many different advancing technologies. For instance, plane design, rocket engines, fashion, and even printing three D organs. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Until next time, thanks for watching.